taken up water sports and produced the aquatic counterparts to their highly playable ATV off-road. With eight riders, 18 courses and various modes to play on offer, Splashdown isn't lacking in substance. There are plenty of similarities between the two titles in terms of graphics, features and gameplay, but also one very important difference. For some inexplicable reason, Rainbow Studios thought to remove the one element that elevated ATV into the realm of greatness, the four-player game. Although the two-player mode is decent enough in Splashdown, it fails to capture the same gaming frenzy whipped up by ATV. Thankfully, there's more fun to be had in the main solo game. Piloting your sea do around numerous staging and outdoor locations, the aim is to fend off your five rival championship contenders and cross the finish line first. A task made simpler by the inclusion of various aerial stunts that, unlike ATV, aren't merely there for aesthetic reasons but actually serve a purpose. Repeated use of stunts can be a tad risky on the choppy waters, but are necessary to fill your boost meter and increase the speed of your Sea-Doo, thus improving your chance of winning. If you enjoyed the challenge of ATV off-road, then Splashdown's unique brand of aquatic racing is worthy variation. It's just a shame they forgot the four-player mode.